Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Arlington Weekly News. I'm Craig Nolan. Thanks for joining us. And I'm Daniel Pineda. Rich Misabney. Uh, and this is our uh, show for somewhere around the 21st, 22nd, 23rd of July, 2011. Uh, the year is flying by. Hope you're having a uh, cool and uh, safe July summer uh, this year. Uh, we have uh, News and Community Bulletin Board, as usual. Rich and his reviews. That's right, son. Good stuff tonight, Rich. Yeah, short but sweet. Short but sweet. That's the way we like it. News for seniors and uh, introducing a new segment tonight, the uh, Healthy Brain Minute, uh, or the Brain Healthy Minute, uh, with a friend of ours, Nort Beckerman. Um, and then uh, Rich doing double duty again tonight, talking with a couple of lovely actors. That's true. From uh, Alden Theater. That's right. Where uh, they're doing uh, Joseph. Joseph and the amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. Very good. All right. That's all coming your way on this edition of the Arlington Weekly News. But before we begin, our news items. Yes, Arlington Weekly News is now available at www.youtube.com slash Arlington Weekly News 1, the number one. Craig. All right, we're on the tube. Here we go. First of our news items. Well, a crash, uh, a vehicle crash, seriously injured an Arlington County police officer on the morning of Wednesday, July 20th. He was injured in a car accident at Washington Boulevard and North Glebe Road. Police say that at 2.15 a.m., the officer, age 40, responded to a call at Ballston Common Mall when his cruiser collided with a Toyota Corolla. The driver of the other car suffered only minor injuries. Authorities say the officer, a five-year veteran of the force, was seriously injured and transported to a local hospital. North Glebe Road and uh, Wa Washington Boulevard was closed for the investigation, but all lanes were reopened by 7.30 a.m. Daniel. Yes, Arlington County is working with the Washington Metropolitan Area Transit Authority, WMATA, to improve the Clarendon Metro Plaza. This initiative will create an active multi-use plaza to accommodate the farmer's market, music events, vendors, and other community activities. It will also enhance pedestrian access to Metro Rail and the bus transit system. The renovations will take place between Wilson and Clarendon Boulevards and from North Highland Street to the Clarendon Metro Rail elevator. All right, Daniel, in other news items, on Friday, July 29th, Arlington will officially dedicate its newest firehouse. The new station, called Fire Station No. 3, is located in Cherrydale. The new fire station is a state-of-the-art facility with greater capacity for emergency response equipment. It also features a green, sustainable design. The public is welcome to join them for the official dedication ceremony, which starts at 2 p.m., as part of the event, the crew will conduct a ceremonial coupling of a fire hose. This will serve as the appropriate ribbon cutting for this special building. There will also be an open house for Fire Station No. 3 on Saturday, July 30th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Visitors can tour the station, meet the firefighters, and check out the equipment. Fire Station No. 3 is located at 4100 Old Dominion Drive. You can visit arlingtonva.us for more details. Congratulations on the new fire station in yes, Cherry. Congratulations. Cherry Absolutely. Daniel. Big news. For our upcoming library events, on Monday, July the 25th, Central Library will hold a tech class on Google Gmail and Calendar from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. And from 7.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m., they will host their monthly book group called Monday Evenings with Friends. Sherlington Branch Library will have an informal poetry workshop from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Members can write and read original poetry and exchange constructive criticism. And then continuing with our library events on Tuesday, July 26th, the Westover Library's monthly book group, Book Whisperers, will run from 7 p.m. to 8.30. Central Library's Spanish language book group, Conversando Sobre Libros, Good job. <laughs> not bad, uh, will start at 7 p.m. and end at 8.30 p.m. And then on Wednesday. Yes, Daniel. Craig, on Wednesday, that's July the 27th, Sherlington Branch Library will have its tech class on Web Basics from 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. While Central's introduction to Microsoft Excel is from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m., 
For movie lovers, Westover is screening the Joy Luck Club from 6.30 p.m. to 9 p.m. This story chronicles the lives of four women from China and their American-born daughters. Craig. And then coming up on Thursday, Central Library will have its book group Thursday morning with friends. That starts at 10.30 in the morning to 11.30. Um, and then on Saturday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., Westover will have a Red Cross blood drive. You can call 1-800-RED-CROSS to schedule an appointment, and you can visit the MyRedCross.org for more information. Please bring your ID. And then that same Saturday, Central Library will host its recurring discussion group on investments and the stock market from 11.30 to 12.30 11:30 uh, a.m. to 12:30 p.m. Participants can exchange ideas, network, and occasionally hear from guest speakers. For more information, call 703-671-8363. And uh, there's lots more happening at Arlington Libraries. Just look online at arlingtonvirginia.us/lib and then click on the full events calendar. Yes, right. there's a lot of library events, huh? Lots of good stuff happening at the libraries. Yep. Daniel. Well, Craig, do you remember what you wore on your first day of junior high? The beginning of the new school year is a critical time for children to make a good first impression and establish lifelong friendships. It can be both exciting and stressful for kids. But for children living in poverty, it's a time to worry about finding the money to pay for school and school equipment. You can help some of these kids by donating a backpack and new outfit to the uh, Look Cool for School program run by the Arlington Alexandria Coalition for the Homeless, AACH. Gift certificates, cash, and check donations are also accepted. School supplies, backpacks, and clothing help them fit in with their peers. Contact I um, B A R T H at A A C H H O M. E L E S S dot org before August the 6th um, to be matched with a child. All donations are due to AACH by Monday, August the 23rd. All right, uh, other items now of our uh, CBB calendar. Here we go. Are you caring and attentive? Well, do you want to make a difference in the lives of older Americans? in need of caregivers. If so, community care may be the right fit for you. Community care homes provide foster care for older adults with physical or mental disabilities. Providers can be families or single adults. A small stipend will be paid to the provider. A Spanish-speaking home is also needed. For details, contact Arlington County's DHS's Aging and Disability Services Division. And uh, that's it for that one. All right, books by mail.